Salutations, cosmonaut. I think it's time to see what Andresia has in mind for our commitment ceremony. So we're flying to the Shoza star system. That's a quite a bit of distance to go, but that's cool. Anything for love. And a quick check on the what my new wisp uh, my new weapon. So that's the vanguards, and this is the PVs. And together. <laughs> I cannot wait to take. Uh, I cannot wait to test out all my various weapons and upgrades, man. This could be cool. Okay, so looks like we're going to a crystal cr uh, crater here. Temperate climate. We've never been be here here before. Extreme environment, though. So, what's so special about this place, Andrejo? Does it hold some special meaning to you? I think. Uh, yeah, we got some party crashers. This would be a great opportunity to test out my new weapons. What kind of ship is this? They're not that far away either. All right. Yeah, let's try my uh, sniper uh, rifle first. Oh, this is gonna be great. How is this an extreme environment, though? Okay, so can we see them from here? What kind of ship? That looks kind of like an ecliptic ship. I guess I can scan some stuff on the way. Copper. Stood to pines. I'm gonna remember this planet. Maybe uh, get some good inorga inorganic resources from here. Oh, these guys. Who are these guys? Herding coral crawlers. We've seen these on other planets. Now, are these guys friendly? That might be a Varun ship, actually. Well, I don't know. I don't know. What do we have here? I think that's ecliptic dudes. Actually, these might be bounty hunters wearing ecliptic gear. I'm, I'm hidden. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, they see me, so no point in doing that. Try my max, your main. Oh, shoot! Yeah, bounty hunters, dudes. Uh, they're not hostile. Always worth checking. Never know what the hell is this? Oh, it's just a drum beat. Ah, it's just a knife. I don't need no knives. This is a cool looking ship, man. I want it. I have to have it. I'm gonna take it. We're gonna test out my new and improved, uh, keep forgetting the name of this weapon. Mutineer. New and improved mut Mutineer main. Clip the cutlass. Alright, let's go in heavy. We got a rear hatch here. That's probably the cockpit right there. Alright, we're gonna clear this floor first. Hello? Anybody order a pizza? Oh, there. And once again, we are triumphant. Eat my uranium rounds, man. Got someone behind us, maybe. This has multiple floors, man. It's one of those kind of ships. That this is the cockpit for sure. Yeah, someone's coming up behind us. It's weird how sometimes they don't aggro right away. That about God, this weapon's awesome. Someone down here, Andresia. You got him. Did you take care of him? Oh, there's a third floor. This is just a storage room. You should use your jetpack like me. The thing I don't like about third floors, I have trouble using my jetpack to get it. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. You shot my fiance. How dare you! I always try my shotgun. <laughs> so cool. Mono repellent, 22 of these. Take much more. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Tell me you'll be okay. Why is she glowing like that? Must have been an effect from one of these weapons, man. 
Is that everybody? Did we kill everyone? Yeah, what's cool is you don't have to loot everything because as soon as you steal the ship and you sell it, like this uh, contraband here. Yeah, it goes into your ship storage. Um, if I were to take this ship, I'm not gonna be, um... I should check this. Uh, anti-ballistics, meh. And lots of money, man. If I take this ship, that this is gonna automatically make it my home ship. Hopefully they have, um... Look at my health just regenerating, man. Oh, so worth it. That upgrade was so worth it. Um, I'm wondering if this has shielded cargo. Hmm. Put this contraband in here. Alright. I'm not authorized to pilot this ship. I know a workaround how to get this to work, though. But this is assuming I killed everyone. Alright, let's go over the ship real quick and make sure I killed everyone. Flashy leatherware? Yeah, it's not that flashy. I wish the clothes in this game was as varied like in Cyberpunk, man. Cyberpunk went all out with the weirdness and everything, and some of the cool stuff. Right, I didn't go over here. Okay, it's just a storage room. Okay, so in order to fix that weird problem with the ship that doesn't work, I saw a video, and this is what the guy did. Let's see if I could do it. First of all, you gotta place a beacon. It won't let me place a beacon. I just become in too much trouble. Anyways, we have a commitment. A s oh wow, that's a dinosaur, dude. That looks like a T-Rex. Are you coming for me? No. I gotta get a closer look. Look at these bro, oh, he's not coming right for me, man. What level are they? Oh god, came right up on me. I got him on Dracia. <laughs> and this thing truce to your ammo like nothing. This is so cool. I suppose we are getting some extra exercise then. I suppose so. Okay, we got some several things here. Amino acids. Membrane. Hmm. But we're not here to scan planets, man. We're here to make a commitment with Andresia. But I will scan stuff on the way. Doesn't mean I can't do that. I mean, look at this, it's just on the way, man. So this planet has some dangerous creatures. Oh, this planet has freaking silver, dude. Yeah, I gotta definitely remember this planet. This is Shoza 2. What do these plants have? Toxin. Not a big deal. Crystal Crater. It sounds enchanting, Andresia. Where are you taking me? What is this? Yeah, I just just scan stuff in passing. Not gonna go off the beaten path. Spice. What do you need spice for in this? This is This isn't doing so we don't need it for navigation. Beautiful night, really bright night. Just noticed the circle on my scanner is really faint. I like it. Is this it? Crystal crater? Map marker's over there though. Wanna play in some poop? Structural material sounds good. And lubricant. I'm hearing weird noises, dudes.
Where are you taking me, Andresia? Okay, now we gotta talk to her. You sure you didn't want to get dressed up? There is little I can offer to show you how much I care. How much you mean to me. Whatever House Varun deems proper could not work. Because you are not House Varun. And whatever marriage traditions you might have would not be appropriate for me. Okay. So the banquet hall I booked. Guess I'm not getting my deposit back. I don't need a ceremony or party or anything. I have you. Our difference is she didn't hold us back. Yeah, I don't need a ceremony or party or anything else. And I love you for feeling that way. But I did think of something. Oh, yeah? This place, where we stand now, is the first place I was brought upon leaving my city, Dasra. The first time I had ever left my home planet. As you know, I was never allowed to know the way back home. That frightened me. But at the same time, I was suddenly aware of not just one planet, but a whole universe I had never seen. That is a feeling I had not experienced again until I met you. Oh, you're sweet. You know that. That's a lot to live up to. No, I've always considered myself an entire universe of possibility. <laughs> I mean, we could be sentimental or... This is who we are, man. We're going to say this. I've always considered myself an entire universe of possibility. Well, in this instance, I am happy to feed you. <laughs> I shall try not to make too much of a habit of it. Oh, come on. You know you like but it. There is more. Buried here is something of great value to me. Something I wish you to have. Really? It is best, I think, if you are the one to retrieve it. This feels like a trap. This is because of Sarah, isn't it? All right, let's let's see what this is. Oh, just right here. I didn't bring a shovel, though. There's a commitment gift added. What did she give me? What is this? It's, um... It's nice, I guess. Is it a rock? Is it a blade? Is it a... What is this? It's kind of like a what? Alright, let's talk to her. Is this a trophy for the ship? Where are you going, lady? She's kind of bugging out. Alright, there we go. Hold in your hands the most treasured item I could give you. What is it? I knew you like knives, but okay, I guess it's a knife. I never seen anything like this. I don't understand what this is. Let's go with that. I don't know what this is. I would hope you recognize a dagger. It's a dagger. You see one. I know. This requires some explanation. In my culture, every child is entrusted with a pet groat. What's a groat? They are domesticated creatures native to my planet. Smelly, cantankerous. But their milk is a staple of our diet. We raise the groat. We care for it. We milk it. And when we come of age, we slaughter the groat and fashion its skull into a dagger. That's pretty intense, all right. You turned your childhood pet into a weapon. I don't understand why you would go along with that. I can never... No, that's, that's intense. It is a lesson. Through this growth, we are shown the connection that we have to the Great Serpent. That all things serve the Serpent and can be tools for his use in more ways than one. Interesting. I'm still stuck on turning its skull into a weapon. So this is incredibly personal to you. I am glad that you can appreciate that. Every member of House Varun has a dagger like this. We are instructed to keep them at our side at all times. Then why'd you bury yours? The Great Serpent is always with us. As is the danger of those who defy and oppose him. But that constant connection to the Great Serpent is a liability to those of us sent out into the settled systems. Hmm. So when we first leave our home... <gasps> oh. We hide it. Bring it here is one way, a more way of going undercover. This would be definitely be difficult to explain. Hmm. You should be proud of who you are. You shouldn't hide it. Yeah. I am proud. I have always been. But my mission dictated that my origins remain concealed. So for years, this dagger has remained buried here, hidden from the world. But now, I believe you should have it. 
with it. I hope you can understand that I trust you completely. That I know you will care for this the way you care for me. And that we are connected in a way that is now truly unique in the settled systems. In all of creation, I love you and I am yours. Holy and completely. Wow, that's pretty intense. <laughs> Thank you for this, so we'll cherish your always. I don't have a skull dagger, but my heart is yours. This sure year beats a boring wedding ceremony. Nah, thank you for this. I'll cherish it always. You are very welcome, and I know that you will. I would not have brought you here otherwise. Whew. Now, surely there is some other grand adventure that awaits us. We should go and meet it head on. Okay, so I guess we're technically married. Sergeant Yumi keeps pestering us, man. Yeah, this is definitely a planet I want to revisit. Damn it, I want that ship. It wouldn't let me place down a beacon, though. It still won't. I wonder why. Hmm. Ow. Uh, let's take a closer look at this thing. It's a dagger that I can't use, apparently. Okay. It's just under miscellaneous. Yeah, it's just under miscellaneous. It's not too heavy, at least. Alright, so I wanted to do some activities. I want to do something. I'm going to pick something at random. This, this one. Who's Luther? Let's go speak to Luther. Where is he? He's on Titan. Alright, let's go to Titan. Be scanned. Oh, I want to use my weapons on something. And we're done. Enjoy New Homestead. Alright, we're going to Homestead and we're going to talk to Luther. Is there anything I need here? I can't think of anything. So, Luther. This is just over here. My power boost pack is amazing. Look how high I am. This is good. This is good. Um, I guess he's not inside the building. He's be... He is inside the building. He's upstairs. Yeah, he's definitely in the building. Um, I guess we're gonna go to the front door. Hope I don't hurt myself. In low gravity, this almost feels like a power boost pack. I can finesse it a little bit. Alright. Trish is way out there. I should get her. Can you get some better boost packs? That, that hasn't even occurred to me, man. Uh, this is a boring assignment, but let's keep it that way. I don't think I talked to everyone here, have I? Who's this? It's one thing to learn about early Tourist. In life. It's another to experience it. You see security. Feel free to look around, but don't touch. I touch everything. Sure would be nice to get off world sometime. That's an elevator. Hello. Hello! It's just the door? I have a feeling an asset didn't load in. Let me save and restart. Reload. That's very strange. Hmm. I wonder what happened there. Alright, he's down there. I wanna, I wanna look around real quick. Oh! The greenhouse. Running this farm with my family for the sake of our little colony is one of the greatest pleasures in life. Mara Munich. Ah, someone new. Are you a tourist, or have you just moved to New Homestead? Guess I'm a tourist. I'm visiting s someone. There's ghosts. This place is haunted. I'm here visiting. I'm interested in learning about the colony. Just passing through. I'm thinking about buying a home here. Can you buy a home here? I'm visiting. Well, there's lots to learn. You can always feel free to try one of the historical tours, or tours. ask the locals about life here. Okay. I'm fascinated by the other worlds in the settled systems. Do you mind if I ask you a question? I don't know how much I could tell you. Sure, go ahead. Oh, wonderful. What's New Atlantis like? Oh, I could tell you that. It's amazing. Huge skyscrapers, beautiful skies, people from all walks of life. It's not as impressive as they make it out to be. No, nah, it's terrible. Give me a frontier city or a small colony like this any day. How would Boda feel about this? I think Boda would like to... Um, he wants to be rich. He wants treasure and stuff, but... Alright, it's amazing. Huge skyscrapers. Oh my, that sounds incredible. Ever since I overheard one of the tourists speaking about it, I've always wanted to go. she blind? We hear about it, of course, but we rarely get much exposure to other worlds beyond the people who come from them to visit our little colony. I wonder if I can convince Nathaniel to go on a trip there with me and our daughter. 
Do you mind if I ask you another question? Nah, go ahead. I don't mind. Thanks. I promise not to take too much of your time. Is the Freestar Collective as lawless as I've heard? Nah. Freestar Stand is a monument to freedom. Anyone can live as they please. I like that. Not as lawless as they legally believe. People still believe in rules and justice. Okay, it's dangerous. Your only option is to rely on the Rangers. Nah, it's not as lawless as they need you to believe. I figured the stories weren't all true. How else would you expect people to live together if you can't trust in laws to keep everyone safe? Yeah, I know, Even right? In a small community like ours, we have to maintain law and order. Though, I understand it gets difficult to always protect that out in the vastness of space. I imagine it's the same in the Freestar Collective. Is it okay if I change the subject? You're very polite. Yes, ask away. Oh, thank you. Are there really planets full of plants, fresh air, and water? Yeah? Wow, she's never left this place. Yes, there are beautiful planets teeming with life of all kinds. Sure, but they are not all that cracked up to be. Nah, they are very beautiful. I've read about them. It seems incredible, doesn't it? I've only ever known Titan, and it's always so cold and drab. Oh, I've always you. dreamed of visiting one to breathe the air, feel the warmth of its sun, but... My husband is reluctant to leave our home. Can I ask you something else? Wow, she's got a lot of questions. Yeah, go ahead. Hopefully this leads to something. Oh, thank you. Is space travel as exciting as it seems? Hell yes. I'm still amazed by the awe and wonder of it every time, man. Space is incredible. It's extremely dangerous. Okay, that's true too. It's nice, but you get used to it. Honestly, it's a lot of nothing. <laughs> um, Yeah, space is incredible. It's extremely dangerous. Mm. Not all the time, though. I will go with this one. Amazed and awed. Well, you've convinced me that I simply must go sometime. Hell yeah, you should. Most of us here have never left the surface of New Homestead. It's a point of pride among many people, but I've always been curious. Those are all the questions I have at the moment. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day for me. Sure. Okay, she seemed nice. Is this her husband? No, just some citizen. Oh, I could really go for some onions cooking over at the Brown Horse. Maybe I should go to the brown horse. So this is what our greenhouse will look like if we got one, huh? Who's this? Is that her kid? My daddy says farming is really important. But I kind of want to do other things. Yeah. Hello. I'm not really supposed to talk with tourists. But I kind of want to anyway. <laughs> and I don't think my papa is paying attention. You little rebel. You're not going to tell him, are you? Nah, why would I do that? But it's kind of creepy me talking to this little girl without her dad knowing. No, not if you don't want me to. I don't think I will. Not unless he asks. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Maybe Maybe we should respect your parents' wishes. Sorry, kid. Now I feel like I have to tell him. No, I don't think he I will. Not unless he asks. Oh. I guess that's okay. I wouldn't want to make you lie. My mama always tells me it's not good to lie. Hmm. Now what should we talk about? Are there a lot of other kids in New Hamps uh, Homestead? Why doesn't your dad want you talking to tourists? My mama says it's because he thinks we'd up and leave if we found out about the oh, rest of the no, world Oh no, he's out like there. one of those types. But I keep telling him. I love it here. And I love him. And I would never leave him. He doesn't believe it. He says the kids almost always want to leave when they grow up. But not me. Nope. I just want to visit somewhere else. Maybe. Oh, ignorance is bliss, kid. You go somewhere else, you're not going to want to come back. Are you enjoy working on the farm? I think it's pretty fun. And I get to be around my mama and my papa all day, so that's cool. They say we all have to work a little. Because it takes all of us to make the community work. Just like on Earth a really, really, really long time ago. Someday, I think it'd be cool to see other places and do other things. But this is fine for now. Interesting kid. She's really mature for her age. Are there a lot of other kids? Really? There's some, though. Most are around my age. We all go to school in the same room. Like a tiny town. Is there school here? Uh, the same as the other schools in social systems? How would she know? I don't... Mm, I don't know. I've never been to any other schools. We mostly learn about the history of the soul system and Earth and stuff like that. Until we get old enough to go on our learning vacation. Learning vacation. That's when we get to leave to go to school somewhere else for a few years. Or travel and visit other worlds, try out jobs and stuff. Oh, I can't wait. Are these people modeled after the Amish? They're starting to sound like the Amish. 
guess that's it for that. Bye. See ya. Is his name Jebediah? If you'll pardon me, I'm not in the mood to talk. Nathaniel might as well be Jebediah. Wait a minute. That's not her dad. Who's this? I overheard you speaking to my wife, Mara. Oh. Filling her head with ideas about picking up and leaving home. You got anything to say for yourself? Hmm. They don't share the same names. I guess she kept her main name or something? Yeah, she clearly wants to visit our world. Why not let her? No, sir. I didn't mean to stir up trouble. Yeah, I don't like how he's talking to me. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this. She clearly wants to visit our world. Why not let her? Listen here. Mara's free to make her own decisions. I'm not here to control her if that's what you're insinuating. I am insinuating but that. that doesn't mean I take kindly to other people manipulating her and telling her the other worlds are full of sunshine and rainbows. I'm just having a conversation, pal. We have pal. a simple traditional life here, and it's important to the community that we maintain that. Do you understand? No, I don't. Hey, you're right. It's none of my business. I don't agree with you. People should explore the universe freely. Yeah. Hey, just so you know, I talked with your daughter, too. I guess I should tell him that. Let's go with this first, just in case this progresses the story. If there's a story. What traditions? Traditions like the way we tend this farm. Strong family ties. Early colonial life. Yeah, Amish. We do it all with the bare minimum technologies to survive. Amish. Everything else is hard work done by humans. It's good for humanity's soul. Okay. What's so important about your traditions? People rely on technology too much. We need to remember how to perform the basics to survive in case we ever find ourselves without said technology. We need to remember where we came from. Earth, this system, lest we forget and repeat the same mistakes as before. We're one of the last colonies charged with that preservation. That's why it's important. Okay. Hey, uh, just so you know, talk with your daughter too. Did you? Well, she should know better than to talk with tourists like you. But that's between me and her. Now, you might want to consider heading off before you cause any more trouble. What trouble? What are you talking about? I overheard you speaking to my wife. You got anything to say? Okay, I guess that's it. Goodbye. I might have chosen the wrong option. I wonder what it's like. My papa doesn't really like Thanks for taking the time to okay, talk with me. Okay, nothing new with them. Elevator. Yeah, this is just Habs, man. This is cool. Storage hab, maybe. And is this another family now? Someone's got to talk to Joyce about these brownouts. Not enough power. Oh, that opened up a mission. I want to talk to the wife again. See if she says anything new. Do you come from one of those planets with no. beautiful skies and fresh air? My yep. Oh, Careful. There are some dangerous areas around here that are not part of any tours. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, I probably can't get through that door, right? Is this secure? Yeah. I don't remember what triggered this quest I'm currently on, but I'm curious. Am I going outside? Yeah. Huh. Oh, this isn't outside. Hello, guard. Homestead is a living history exhibit, but these are real people, so please be kind to them. I'm always kind. I'm a nice guy. I'm gonna use our Did you know the museum here is full of old and earth all up, try some new cool, huh? flavor profiles, as they say in biz. What biz? What are you talking about? You know, the foodie biz. Chefs and all that. It's a thing they... We do. We get cases of refrigerated chunks and we just heat them <laughs> up. We don't, like, make anything. You are really into chunks, huh? Yeah, it's the greatest. I can't believe you're so down on it. We have the best job on tight. Whatever. I'm just doing this job to help my family pay the bills and save up so I can pay for my education. And I am out of here. Huh. Welcome to Chunks. Please hey. choose your Chunks. Welcome mm -hmm. to Chunks. What can I get for you? Luther Atlanta. That's a great name. Hello there. Welcome to the new Homestead Chunks. We've got all your Chunks favorites. Well, almost all. Sadly, we're out of the special sauce. I know, I know. But everything else is still that great chunks food you know and love. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? I eat it, man. Yeah, running out of <laughs> chunk special sauce sounds like a problem. Uh, you really love, you seem to love the chunks. <laughs> you know I do. <laughs> and 
what's not to love? It's delicious, nutritious, easy, fast, inexpensive. It, it sure makes my hungry belly sing for joy. Here. My wife thinks I eat too much chunks food, but I just can't help myself. It's so good. What else is there other than chunks? Got the Terra Brew Cafe. So what's your favorite chunk? Oh, 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 oh. you had to go and ask the hard questions, huh? Uh, how can I pick just one? There's chicken chunks, beef chunks, potato chunks, cheesesteak chunks, cheesecake chunks. Okay. You know what? I'm going to cheat if you don't mind and just say I love them all equally. <laughs> Why am I in the mood for like 7-Eleven food all of a sudden? Okay. Um, okay, New Ham Homestead's all about the authentic living history. What's the chunks doing here? <laughs> well... People gotta eat, you know. Uh, but seriously, I think we're just starting to get with the times a little. And I can't think of a better restaurant than Chunks to usher that in. I think corporate just saw New Homestead as an untapped market. I mean, the locals may not eat it, but the tourists love having a taste of home. Yeah, that's how you get Starbucks in like Honolulu. Okay, uh, running out Chunk sauce uh, sounds like a problem. If I'm completely honest, it is. And people are always saying how this Chunks can't compare to the real deal. Huh? And I just know it's because we never had that mouth-watering sauce. I've been in contact with some of the other restaurants out there, and they'll give me some, but they say they can't afford to send it, and I don't have a ship, so what am I to do? Okay, so you want me to pay out of pocket to get you some sauce? You just need someone to go get it. I could get it for you. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> is the sauce really that important? You bet it is. You may not hear people talk about it, but trust me, it's the secret ingredient. It's like the glue that holds it all together. I mean, not literally. I'm not saying it's <laughs> makes it sound so appetizing. It's the life, tangy, savory, it's a little sweet, but not too sweet. And I've noticed that once people find out we don't have it, sometimes they don't return. It's the reason business isn't as good as other chunks. Well, shouldn't you get corporate on the phone to sort this out for you? Well, is there a reason Chunks doesn't just send you the sauce? Yeah. For real. Good question. They haven't said, but I think it has something to do with them prioritizing other Chunks over mine. I guess it's made at a different facility than our other food. And they don't even want to pay the shipping cost to ship from another store to ours. What? Yeah, sometimes I get lucky and a cargo hauler passes through with a route that takes them near other Chunks and back again. But there's no guarantee. Something shady going on with this corporation, man. Well, if you just need someone to go get it, I'd do it. Wait. For real? Yeah. You do that. You're not pulling my leg. No leg pulling from me. Yeah, no problem. Just tell me where to go. I'll do it if you pay me. You're right. This is ridiculous. I'm not doing work for chunks. Nah, no problem, man. Just tell me where to go. Oh, yeah, right. I actually just got a message back from another chunks before you got here, and they got a case ready to go for me. This might be a simple fetch just quest. Just tell them you're there to pick it up for me, and it should be good to go. Thanks. All right, talk to Sergeant Yumi again, of course. Thanks for choosing chunks. Hey, pick this up. Which chunks would you like today? I'm gonna throw it at her. Pick that. <laughs> All right, what was that message? Where's the follow-up? Special sauce. Where is this at? Oh, it's an Aquila. It's like all roads lead to Aquila eventually. The Achilles City Air. Cool. I'm gonna try to jump over this wall. Oh, that got a balanced boost pack. Gravity is too strong. Uh oh. Maybe this was a bad idea. Woo! I made it. Your walls are worthless. They do nothing. Alright, here's the Chunks restaurants. Ow. Keep breaking my ankles. Welcome to Chunks, home of the best chunks in the settled systems. What makes you so special? You've chosen Chunks. What a great choice. What chunks can I get you? He sounds very enthusiastic. What exactly are chunks made of? It's made out of people, Boda. All I am legally allowed to say is that our <laughs> chunks meet all known minimum standards for nutrition. Just like McDonald's. Alright. Okay, so I'm here to pick up some special sauce for the chunks of New Hampshire homestead. Huh. I thought it was a joke at first, but yet here you are. Let me get that for you. 
It's amazing how popular this stuff is on Titan. You'd think they just drank it over there. It's not popular everywhere? Huh. Why does this feel like a simple... Can't even target this guy. Citizens, nothing new here. All right. It is almost reassuring to see that corporate mediocrity has wormed its way into every corner of the settled system. <laughs> Why is it reassuring? <laughs> yes, I want to eventually get to do this. Can't wait to start Aquila City. Yeah, this is uh, the closest thing to a um, corporate office or presence I of, uh, understand of a galactic. To honor or even celebrate history. But this may take it too far. Why? What do you have a what 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 what, what do you have a problem with? I can't seem to speak all of a sudden. Yeah, gravity's very low here. We take vandalism seriously here. You don't mess with history. Kind of like a vanguard sort of look. Looks cool. All right, Luther got your sauce, man. Let's see if there's any uh, potential shipmates here. Hey, hey, good to see you again. Yeah, I got the stuff. About that sauce. All right, lay it on me. Let's take a look. Should learn how to make you it, man. You are a real lifesaver. Seriously, I don't know how I'd manage to live without it myself, let alone my customers. Thanks. Give me three thousand credits, some experience. That's it. Just a basic fetch quest, I guess. Did you know the museum here is full of old Earth artifacts? Cool, huh? Oh, we saw Gosh. these guys in the museum. Alright, there was something about a brown out here. Maybe I should look into this. They need, like, an expert into the situation. I know I got a quest for brown outs, so I was probably supposed to talk to a specific person, but it's not giving me a breakdown of the quest, so I don't know who. So, another random one. This one. We're gonna talk to Telvin and Astas. And this person's in Vole Alpha in Neon Core. The effort to make this place livable is astounding. It is very astounding. No end what can be accomplished in Oh, I can scan these guys from up here. This is awesome. I just need one more and I got it scanned. Boom! <laughs> Yeah, long range scanners are great, man. Is this, what is this gonna just end up taking me to the core? I could just fast travel straight to the core, man. Yeah, I'm just in the core. Alright. Seagirts. I think. Websites changed. Dude, you're naked. Bothering. Um, I think you're bothering everybody. I don't care. I bother who I want. And I don't have to listen. Guess not. Is there a reason you're so short with people? What do you do for work around here? <laughs> yeah, what the hell do you do here, man? I work the warehouses. Clock in, clock out, mind my business. Gangs leave me alone. You should, too. Wait, but this lady over here is bothering me. Is there a reason you're so short? It's one of my rules. It served me well. Besides... You don't want to talk to me. That guy's eyeballing a man. I'm not a good man. Best keep your distance. You're a bad man, huh? You have a set of rules to live by? Yeah. Keep things short. Don't drink on the job and drink every minute after. Never play cards with a street rat. Don't love what you can't respect. That's all I got. Anything more would break the first rule. Pretty chatty for a guy who's pretty short. So, you're not a good man, huh? Why do you say that? No. Not regrets. Care to elaborate? Not particularly. All right, I see. Yeah, I bet you do. See that you're naked. I could ask this again. Why? No. Eh, no, no, no difference here. What the? Lady, just walk by. Up it into me this whole time. So annoying. Oh, the hotel. No, Emporium. 
I should stay another night at the hotel, see if I can unlock that. In here? You said you wanted to buy something nice for your girlfriend, so here we are. Do you think I've suddenly inherited a fortune? This place is way out of my price range. Hey, you're the one that told me she has expensive tastes. <laughs> there's expensive, and then there's the Emporium. This place is in a class all by itself. Yeah, I guess. Take a look around. If you find something, I'll help you out, okay? Looks like a pawn shop to me. <laughs> citizen, citizen. Purple CD player. What the hell is this thing? Is this a skull, maybe? Take it easy. Hey there, pal. Is that your twin? Looks like a cyclops. Wooden duck. Xenomorph skull, maybe. One of those alien eggs. I don't know what this guy has for me here. Oh, it's a book. Moby Dick. Already read it. That looks like a computer from the 80s, dude. All right, enough sightseeing, I guess. We um, sell only the finest goods for the discerning customer. That looks like a pawn shop to me, man. <sighs> Are you sure you're in the right place? You certainly don't look like one of her usual. Dude, I could buy and sell you. All right, all that matters is that I brought credits to spend. Damn, I almost wore my entitled snob outfit today. <laughs> <laughs> I take it from your tone, I've made an error in judgment. So many errors. Please forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few, shall we say, thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. Hmm. In fact, there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goods. Okay, that sounds good. It sounds real good. Take him out. Talk to authorities to help you. You should learn to defend yourself. Who's this uh, Seoguk? Sounds almost Korean. The Seoka Syndicate, of course. I'm surprised you haven't run into any of them. They're a group of organized criminals who use threats and violence to push their own agenda. And honest people like me tend to suffer the consequences. They're based out of Neon, but no one is certain who runs the Syndicate. Could be anyone. Hmm, is this an activity that leads into something deeper, huh? Uh, take him out! <laughs> kill him? Yeah! Even if I wanted to, well, I wouldn't know how. I've never been terribly good at that sort of thing. Well, I believe every individual should know how to defend themselves. In this particular case, that course of action seems ill-advised. <laughs> anyway, I've already taken up too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? Is this not going to lead to anything else? Okay, what types of goods you sell here? I'm, I'm going to offer the help, of course. Oh, I carry all sorts of unique items from across the settled systems. Luxury products for the discerning buyer. I'm not one to boast, but my shop won me my position as Administrator Bayou's personal decorator. His penthouse is my pièce de résistance. Oh, and before I forget, I also pay top credits to travelers that bring me unique baubles and trinkets. So keep your eyes open to oh, explore it's the one of those ways. Guess this is the place to sell like old earth stuff you find, huh? All right, let's see what he sells real quick. Oh yes, absolutely. I'm sure, it's just nothing. Got some miscellaneous alien critter display. Okay, this is stuff that you could use to uh, display in your house and stuff. All right, that's good to know, I guess, if you want to get all fancy. Solomon's calculations. It's worth two thousand. I'm tempted to buy it, not because of the price, but I have a feeling this is going to lead to a snow globe. Oh god, I just spent two grand on a book. Return Solomon Co.'s jump calculation to Zlea Castler. Oh, that's something we could do for the museum. Cool. Alright, I'll handle this for you. Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. Okay, okay, okay. Grab and Go sounds good. I don't think this will be a problem. I doubt he'll be alone. I'll try to reason with him. Why would this guy hang out at Grab and Go? No one knows. Is the food good? Seoka are sleek, well-dressed mobsters. They aren't low-life gang members. Why they choose to hang out at a run-down little convenience store like that is beyond me. Sometimes you just want like a microwave burrito and some nachos, man. Nothing wrong with that. 
Uh, right, um, I don't think this will be a problem. You say that, but Sioka <laughs> aren't exactly pushovers when it comes to this sort of thing. So you better watch your ass. Anyway, that's really all I know. Head back here when you've taken care of the situation. Good luck. It's gonna be good. Uh, can you tell me more about this headlock guy? I believe he's a newer member of Seoka. They pulled him up out of one of the street gangs that crawl through our sewers. If you're wondering how I know about that, he boasts about it every time he comes in here. He's quite a large gentleman. I believe you can find him roaming the street somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. Look, if he somehow disappeared, you'd be doing everyone in Neon a favor. No one would miss him, no one would care. If I were to just take him out, Andresia probably wouldn't like it. In fact, now that I completed Andresia's quest line, I should probably switch to Sarah, see if I can get into a plural mar uh, marriage. All right, let's go. It was good to have you in my shop. Farewell. Farewell. And I lost my quest marker. Why? Mob mentality. Here we go. So he's an ebb side. Right, we're a little familiar with Neon. Shouldn't be too hard. And away we go. Balance push back. Inside's a bad place for tourists these days. Yeah, we talked to him already. Yeah, I like Neon, man. This is a cool area. Elevator. Hey, lady. I saw someone with the name. Oh, this person's not looking good, man. Sleep crate! We already talked to her. What if my house is around here? I always forget where it's at. <laughs> There's Frankie's grab and grow. Grow? Go. Grab and grab and grow. That sounds um That sounds like something. Sure does. There should be like handrails here or something. Or maybe this is like a docking sort of situation, like maybe space taxis. What is this doing here? Some place to chill and drink some beers. Huh. Just a citizen. That's the cargo area up there. Okay, food and drinks. Guess we're gonna ask, uh, that must be Frankie. Citizen. Days are too short. I was too long. Are you following me? Requires a key. All right, let's talk to uh. Hope you're a paying customer. Rick. It can be if you sell good stuff. Probably better than chunks. Trying to talk to you, lady. You lost, kiddo. Jeez, I'll take that as a compliment. Do I look that young? I'm just looking around. Last I checked, I was an adult. Nah, no need to be all rude. I'm not going to steal anything if that's what you think. This is a store, isn't it? Sure, sure. I just don't get too many quality customers here. Huh. Most folks head over to Newell's or the Emporium if they've got the creds. I'd say less than half my customers are legit. The others are just kids up to no good. Uh, wait a minute. Why does this look like a pawn shop? You're called Grab and Gold. It's like a convenience store, man. I'm just looking around. Well, I don't know. Nah, I'm not going to steal anything if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Sounds like something a thief would say. No, oh, they think about it, yeah, huh? I had some high hopes for this shop back when my husband and I opened it a while back. These days, if you ain't a regular, you're usually trouble. I'm to clientele, man. You won't get any trouble from me. I get it. Trusting anyone is hard these days. Open a shop in New Orleans. This is the Sidonia for your trouble. Why, did something happen? Of course something happened. Ain't that always the case? Yeah. Let's just say, those hopes died a long time ago, and there ain't no reviving them. That's a shame. Okay, what do you sell here? Snacks, drinks, odds and ends. Yeah, Typical convenience store. convenience store fare. Thought we'd snag a few of the Astro Lounge club goers who might want something to go on their way home. Mm, pretty smart. Turns out we were more appealing to the local gangs. Yeah, man. I can't seem to ask about um, Headlock here. That's... 
not productive. I get it. Trusting anyone is hard these days. Eh, he won't get any trouble from me. We'll see about that. True. Um. Okay. Now we got some stuff here. All right. How much business do you uh, do you get back here? I may not be on the main strip, but I make enough to keep me afloat. I'm not being shaken Lucky down. For me, my regulars are a devoted crew. That's cool. What type of people are your non-regular customers? Mostly tied up in those good-for-nothing gangs. Those disciples and strikers always fighting over who gets to run the place. And not giving a damn over whose lives they ruin. Is that one of the strikers? Watch out! Uh, you said you started this business with your husband. Where, where's he at? Solomon thought a small convenience store with cheaper prices would make a killing. Of course, the only killing made was when he got himself shot in a robbery. Oh, that sucks. Now it's just me running this place. So you can see why I'm not a huge fan of strangers in my shop. <laughs> That's my cue to leave. <laughs> that guy. That was funny. Alright, um... I want to see what she sells before I do this. Take a look. I'm just curious. Miscellaneous. I think I've got like a crap load of digipicks now, man. I really didn't need that mod to craft digipicks. Chambus oil. You need to make that. Use that for Aurora. What does she have it? Wow, she's got... She sells chunks. Must be a franchise. And that Mofar one. Okay. All right, so Telvin uh, Anastas told me a thug named Headlock hangs around here. Never heard of him. Now, are you gonna buy something what? or just annoy me? Are you protecting day? someone? Maybe it's their son or something. All right, it's time for Captain Persuasion. I really need to know where he is. How am I supposed to know where he is? You're hiding something. Easy one, sort of. All right, come on. This isn't that important to anybody but me. Look, I get it. You got your orders. I've got no. That doesn't even make sense. I promise this is... No. Uh, come on. This isn't that important to anybody but me. That doesn't mean I should tell you. Yeah, that didn't work, did it? Alright, what's the, what's the harm in if you help me? I mean... It might be okay. Okay, cool. I just need information. Nothing will ever connect back to you. I knew you were a reasonable person. Look, I get it. You got your orders. Uh, I knew you were a reasonable person. I don't like any of these. Hmm. Let's just go for this one. I knew you were a reasonable person. That doesn't mean I'm a pushover. So much for that. I told you, I don't know who Headlock is. Now either quit loitering or make yourself useful. I'm gonna have and to bribe her, man. Hmm. I'll be back. <sighs> what a pain. <laughs> I have Come a again. feeling that I could do something here, and get it for free. This was a locked door that requires a key. Oh man, that probably means they require lock picking, huh? Not lock picking, pickpocketing. I may have to bribe her. I may not have a choice. This naked guy, I find that annoying, man. I wonder if there's anything to do with the fact that I removed that uh, the Legendary's mod one. It had a plug-in. But I didn't think it would reorder, like, um, form factors for, like, you know, cause this potential problem. So that could be it. If I see more than one naked person, um, I'm gonna be sad. There's ways to fix it. Most of the against when you have this, you just, like, wait a hundred days or something. Run this city. But I don't see people. Everyone's in poke chest. Alright, I'm gonna have to bribe her. Will it be? Damn you, damn you. Oh god, I'm gonna have to go through all this again? No, about headlock. Here we go. I'll give you five hundred dollars. Well, now that I know you're serious, we can talk business. Yeah, I know headlock can't stand them. And I heard some of the other Sioka can't either. Why are you protecting him? That boy doesn't know how to keep himself out of trouble. What'd he do this time? That's like her nephew or something. He's been terrorizing the Emporium. That's the bad usual cigar stuff. How do you know, Headlock? He's a customer. That's it? You're not here to interrogate me, so let's get back on track. I want to know why you're protecting this guy. Well, let's not... Let's not let loose that the Emporium's involved right now. The usual uh, Seoguk stuff. You are so ignorant. They're not all bad apples like Headlock. Okay. In any case, if you're so desperate to find him... He and his friends are probably hanging out in Warehouse 4, somewhere near there. I gotta ask, what are you gonna do with him? He needs to face justice. I just wanna talk to him. I'll shake him down to cover Tevin's expenses. That's my business. Can't stand him luck. Why do you care? Yeah, why do you care? Who is he to you? I have no affection for him whatsoever. He's a good-for-nothing thug, and a boastful one at that. Hmm. I wouldn't mind seeing him get smacked around and put in his place. Okay. But that doesn't mean I think he should be killed. 
I don't think Andresia would like that either. No, I just want to talk to him. <laughs> That's one way to punish him. <laughs> you'll just bore him to death. We'll see what happens. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a business to get back to. If you aren't going to buy anything, you better run along. I was starting to like this lady, but now I don't know if I like her. See you around. I right, deal with headlock. Andresia, can I kill this guy, please? Please? I won't ask for anything ever again, I promise. Guess we're just going down here. Music's popping again. Yeah, we've been around these neck of the woods. Hey, close your door, dude. He's not closing his door. Guess he doesn't care. Oh, last time I was here, I didn't see the occupants of this place. That's pretty cool. Is this a morgue or like a capsule motel? Isn't this right next to our drop location for the Aurora? Yeah, it is. And I've been in there. I killed some dudes in there. I wonder if they're still alive. I did go in here and I killed someone. Alright, I saved. What gun do I want to use? We'll go with the shotgun just in case. I like my shotgun. My shotty. Okay, so I should be able to talk to him. I doubt. He's just going to aggro me right away. I did like a cursory look at this place when I was here. I didn't see anything useful. Okay. Well, that must be him. Do I have business with you or something? Maybe. And who do we have here? You here for business or to get your head caved in? A little bit from column A, column B. I could just attack him, man. Hmm. Uh, you need to leave the Emporium alone. Is that so? It is. I'm not just some low-life thug anymore. I'm with the Sioka now. If you mess with me, you'll mess with the whole syndicate, and that won't end well for you. Oh, yeah, I'd have a lot of pro. I'd have a lot of fun. No, I'm not looking for you. That doesn't worry me, man. I can respect the Sioka, but I can't respect you. What gang were you in before you joined the Siogook? Hmm. Huh. The Ebside Strikers. I ran with them for a good long while, but then it just became embarrassing. How so? I couldn't even feed myself when I was with them. I clawed myself out of the gutter, and Sioka took notice. My talents were being squandered with the strikers. I was too good for them. Got chatty all of a sudden. Hmm. What else we got over here? That's it. Um, hmm. I can't just if I like this guy and that. I'm just gonna say that doesn't worry me. Well, it should. All I need to do is say the word, and my Sioka buddies will pay you a very unpleasant visit. They don't so look very on, intimidating. Shot. Give me a reason why I should leave Tevin and his shitty little store alone. Is this another chance for Captain Persuasion? Space Scoundrel, I could do that. But I want to persuade. But I'm a Space Scoundrel, but I want to persuade. Ah. Let's try to persuade. Maybe then I could use Space Scoundrel if I fail. Go on, enlighten me. But don't waste my time. Okay. I'm going to kill... I'm gonna kill you if you don't listen to me. I'm not sure how much more blunt I can be. Security will eventually have to get involved in it. No. This behavior doesn't benefit you at all. It's only making your life... No. I'm gonna kill you if you don't listen to me. Wow. Do you see how I'm <laughs> shaking with fear? Oh, wait. No, I'm not. Hmm. I suck at this. You're making a lot of enemies, and most wouldn't mind if you disappeared. You're playing with fire. <sighs> that makes Looking sense. over your shoulder and neon can get old. I'm sure it did. Good. Okay, uh, if you keep trashing all the shops, you won't be able to buy anything from anywhere. That's stupid. I don't want to use the security option, man. It's like, I'm going to tell mom and dad. Ah, let's go with security. That would be scary if security weren't corrupt as all hell. Yeah, I'm a neon. They're dirtier than I am. They won't get involved. Damn it. Oh, come on. You weren't even close to convincing No, I suck at that. It's going to take a lot more than that to get us to stop paying visits to Tevin. How about the scoundrel card? And basically say what I already said to you, because I'll kill you. I... I think you're There's <laughs> okay. no way you could take me. But fine. Nobody like you isn't even worth the trouble. We'll leave the Emporium and Tevin alone. Oh, come on. You weren't even close to convincing me. What? It's going to take a lot more than that to get us to stop paying visits to Tevin. All right. I hope this quest isn't broken. This reeks of being broken. I... But fine. 
Oh come on, you weren't even close. It's gonna take a lot more. Maybe it's because I filled a whatever. Huh, I may have to kill him. That would be such a shame. Why does Hyogo recruit you? They realized I'm an asset, of course. I'm one of their best guys. I'm tough, dependable, and I make a lot of money for the syndicate. But you talk too much, man. I'm gonna try one more time. If it doesn't work, I only have one option, man. My hands are tied. All right. I. But fine. Nobody. Oh come on. You yeah. Wanna... It's gonna take a lot more. All right, dude. I tried my best. I was trying to be peaceful. Andres, you saw that what I did, right? Okay. You asshole. I told you I'm not someone to mess with. You should have showed a little respect. I did. Oh, this weapon is the shit. I ain't dying yet. You're gonna take more than that. Yes, Andres, you didn't mind that. Cool. Very cool. Credits. Best not to leave anything useful behind. Very nice. Money's pretty good. Okay. Oh, Andres, you must have got this one. Oh, I killed uh, whoever was here before. Cause they never. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. 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 All right, I guess we're gonna go tell them what happened up here, over here. Maybe we should go talk to Frankie. Yeah, I killed him. What you think? How you like me now? Can I get some decent service now? I'm gonna go to the hotel and talk to uh, the lady that's running the place. See if that quest updated. It made it sound like I needed to stay there for several times before she talked to me about something. Okay. Be careful. Headlock. Is a dangerous gentleman. He's just a punk ass kid. I appreciate your help with this matter, but please don't get yourself killed on my account. Not even close, dude. I took care of Headlock. He won't be messing with you anymore. Oh my. Now that is a true relief. I thought I would never be rid of him. I'm not one to get involved with a rabble, so I'm glad you came along when you did. Thank you for your help. It was my pleasure. Okay. 3,000? 3, 3,000 seems to be the average reward you get from Please people. Visit us again if you're in the market now let's go to the Voli Hotel. I feel like I'm being nagged at by Yumi every time I see that message. There's the Voli Hotel right there. Alright, there she is. I wonder if my room is still good. We have, we have choice accommodations at reasonable prices. Alright, wanna let me in on your little secret about how you beat the system? Maybe after you've rented a room for a few nights, I might let you in on my secret. Yeah. For now, it'll just have to remain a mystery. Okay, let's rent the room Sorry. again. I just need some time to... I understand. I need a room. I've got one with your name. How long are you planning on staying? Um, just... a day. Fantastic! And I guess I gotta go up here. Alright, we're home. Let's get some rest and move on. Last night was enlightening. Is that like some kind of Varun mating to, ritual? Um, learn more next time. It's kind of creepy, man. Don't do, do that. No! I don't need anything. I'm gonna try to talk to her again. Maybe. It's nice to see maybe you that Are did you it. Here to book a room? Maybe after you. No. Sorry. All right. Enjoy your visit to Neon. This might be the oldest one on my list since it's at the bottom. Let's go talk to Rivka. Wherever this is. It's in Cydonia. It's been a while since we were there. Rivka, Rivka. Does that sound familiar? That right, looks like a miner. Do you imagine anyone actually enjoys living here? I simply cannot. Yeah, me neither. Did we talk to Rivka? For any doubt of Sidonia's importance to the United Colonies and its industry, this certainly puts it to rest. I wonder if there's anything worth exploring over here. Hey! Since you helped us out with the equipment and all, 
I was wondering if I could talk to you. Of course. <coughs> Hope you're okay. That cough doesn't sound good, man. Who are you and what do you do here? We'll get to that. Will you listen to what I have to say first? Of course. Hope you're okay. That cough doesn't sound good. It's... it's probably... <coughs> not, but... I can't afford to go get it looked at. <coughs> Got a crap load of meds on my ship. I could offer money to help. You should go see a doctor. I'm sure they'll find a way to help. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> Any idea what's causing it? No idea. <coughs> Some sort of lung rot. Maybe from all the Martian dust that <coughs> kicks up in here. This is not or good. It could be something worse. Uh. I guess I could offer her money. Let's advise her to go see it. No, she doesn't have any money. Let's offer her some money. It's not a matter of money. There's more to it than that. Actually, maybe this is wrong. You're a total stranger. Forget I said anything. Pourquoi? No, really, I want to help. Here, have a med pack. Yeah. Thanks. I'll try it, but... I really should see an actual doctor. It's clear you want to help. Maybe I can trust you. The gesture is a kind one, but a med pack will not solve her issue. See, I'd like to go to Reliant Medical for treatment, but my father, Nathan, is an executive with Reliant. Isn't, isn't that good? I came to Sidonia to escape oh. him. Nathan is not a good man. Not to me. And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide for me. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems. I don't know which ones I can trust, and it won't end well for me if they snitch to him. Oh, so she's on the run. I could pay your father a visit if you'd like. That could be interesting. Well, what happened with your father? Why is he trying to track you down? It's worse than you think. I didn't just <coughs> run away from him. I knocked him unconscious, <laughs> stole his ship when he was out cold. My kind of girl. Trust me, it was warranted at the time. I totally trust you with that. After I ditched it above Aquila, I bounced around the <coughs> settled systems until I landed here. It's the last place I thought he'd find me. We should have sold his ship. But all that changes if I pop up in the Reliant database. He'll know I'm in Sidonia, and he'll never stop looking for me. Last I heard, he no longer cares for my safety. He only wants revenge. I have little doubt he would throw me in jail for as long as possible. Oh. Force. I say dommage. Oh, uh, let's see. What else can we say here? But if you don't get help for your illness, wouldn't that be worse? It's a risk I have to take. Yes, my condition is getting worse, but there's a chance it will clear up on its own. Yeah, just ignore it, right? If my father finds me, well, I know my father and I fear for my safety. That is a definite. Okay, so what did your father do to you that made you take such drastic measures? After my mother died in an accident, he changed. He became obsessed with my protection, but he never listened to what that was doing to me. It got worse and worse. First, it was no traveling in ships without one of his pilots. Then, no parties, no drinking, no leaving the house. I obeyed. But he didn't trust me, so he started monitoring everything I did. It became so bad, he once locked me in my room for two days after an argument. Can you believe that? A prisoner in my own home. Every day there was yelling, lack of freedom, threats. I had to escape my prison. But even now, I am trapped. <laughs> Sounds like the guy was like getting into drugs or something, maybe alcohol? Your hormonal imbalance? <laughs> Let's diagnose him. Alright, I can pay your father a visit. <coughs> Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Sometimes. Maybe you could try to reason with my father. Or maybe scare him into backing off. I could kill him. 
but you should know. He has powerful and dangerous friends, so you must be careful. If it works, I'll be free. If not, well, at, at least he still won't know where to find me. <coughs> what do you think? It's something to do. I'll do it. Just tell me where to find him on second thought. No. Anything else you could tell me about your father that might help? He wasn't always the way he is. It wasn't until... <coughs> after my mother died that he changed. Grew angry, dangerous. He was no longer himself. Yeah, sounds like substance abu abuse. You could try mentioning her by name. Belinda. Belinda. He misses her greatly. Thinking about her tends to calm him down. It's worth a try. Her accent's really weird. It's very strange. Alright, I'll do it. Just tell me where to find him. It just so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this Back time. Back to Neon! He always stays at Hotel Volai. He won't see visitors he doesn't know, but maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. I've got it. Bring him a bottle of his favorite whiskey, Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> uh, say it's a peace offering from me. That whiskey is exceedingly rare. I'm sure it will pique his interest enough to hear what you have to say. It's starting to sound like a scam now, man. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Sure, there aren't any other options. If I do this for you, can you promise what have happened with him won't happen again? Why would I ask her this? I don't even know what happened. I sure there aren't any other options. There may be, but getting him to listen to you is the key here. And what I've told you is the surest way I can think of. There was a time he had a falling out with his brother, and that whiskey did the trick to bring them back together. With that gift, he will know I am sincere. I think it's a voice actress trying to do a French accent, it just sounds weird. Or I could be wrong, maybe it's a unique accent somewhere that I'm not familiar with. So I gotta find this whiskey? Probably, um, I'll probably have a, like a blackmail option if I look around, poke around, stuff like that. Alright, got it, I'll see what I can do. Good luck. You can check with Jack at the Broken Spear for the whiskey. He may have some or... <coughs> know where to get it. And thank you so much for trying to help me. Trying to help me. Alright, we know this guy. Oh god, this backpack. This backpack, man. Um, he keeps wanting to get me to go to Yumi. <laughs> Why won't it just keep, uh... I won't just keep my quest heading... Relative to what I'm doing. Hey, Jack. Been on time. Drinks here for over 40 years. A few places can offer that kind of stability. All right, I'm here for the whiskey. I am, but you don't look like the type that could afford it. What? Look at me. The last person who came through here asking about it was none other than Governor Hurst. Our buddy, the governor. He didn't even want to drink it. Said he was buying it to put it on display in his office or something. Seems like a waste, but eh, whatever. You paid up. I'll have you know, I spent 500 grand on my ship. Can you say that? Why? How expensive can this whiskey be? <laughs> you don't get it. This whiskey was aged in barrels buried in Martian soil, which leached into it. Why not just use whiskey, food coloring? It's distinct red hue. They don't make this stuff anymore and never will. The exact process was lost. There's a finite amount of this stuff left in the universe. You're lucky I got any at all. Yeah, why does a random bar on Mars have it? Is there, any other way, is there any other way to get a hold of it somehow? Not from me. And I know Hurst won't give his up. Okay, willing. I could probably steal Hurst if I failed this. So, no. Unless you're fixing to steal from Hurst. Bingo! And for the record, I wouldn't recommend something utterly stupid like that. Ah, uh, but I am just the idiot to do it. Fifteen grand. Wow, that is pretty pricey. I, or I could buy it. Persuasion! Now you got my attention. This ought to be good. Now you're telling me. All right. Let's try to use some, um... A persuasion within a persuasion? What? I wouldn't be asking you this if there was any other way. Hand it over now. This is the best option. 
I do have a soft spot for that girl. She does seem nice. Weird accent. Rivka's sick. I need this to get her father before he tracks her down. I wouldn't be asking you. Yeah, this is. Why didn't you say obvious? So? I know Rivka's story. Will this really help her? Well, if I get this next one, I could use auto persuade. Look, I get it. You've got your orders. I got. Why does? Why do I keep getting this option? I wouldn't be asking you uh, for this if there was any other way. I do believe I'm you. Right. But you realize what kind of a bond this puts me in. Fifteen right? grand in the hole. Tell you what. I'll do this as a favor for Rivka. She's been through a lot. That's an expensive favor. I'll only favor. charge you what I paid for the whiskey years ago. Oh. Pay me that, and it's yours. 600 credits. Can I still steal it from Governor Hearst's office? I sure hope you're not pulling my leg about this whole thing. Or else I just let all that money slip away. You better do justice for Rivka. That is a huge discount, though. Um, I'm still going to see if I can steal it. Hearst office is just over here. Right? If I remember correctly, it's not that far. It's down here, I think. It said it was the office, right? Not his house. Uh, in here. Uh oh, I think I'm not going the right way. Maybe it's out this way. Yeah, this feels right. Very practical to seal this off and make a uh, thing. One of the earliest okay, here's his office. Where's the whiskey? You better not be back here trying to blackmail me again. Nope, I'm just here to steal it a bottle of whiskey if you have it. Next time. You guys seen the whiskey? It's a 15 grand whiskey, man. That could be worth uh, stealing. Nah, I don't see it. Maybe it poofed after um after I got it from uh, Jack. I'm standing on your desk, man. There's nothing you could do about it. Maybe it's over here? Oh, there it is. I found it. I don't have my stealth suit. I'm detected. Hide in the bushes. Oh, I'm hidden. Now I can't see the whiskey, though. There it is. Mine. <laughs> and there's a trade authority over here to sell it. Where'd it go? Hey, man. I got something to sell you. How's it going? Can I help? Cool. Just because I can. That would be an aid, right? The hell? It's not showing up in my inventory. Maybe it's like a quest item now. Damn, I got 76 digipics, man. I guess I can't sell it. Aw. Yo, stay good. I'm so disappointed. Alright, alright, alright. I guess we're gonna go to uh Hotel Voli. Guess who's back? Back again. Boda's back. He brought a friend, or his wife, technically his wife. You know, I tried Aurora once. I did not enjoy the experience. Are you on it now? Damn. Okay, so we gotta talk to her about it. We have a choice of comedy. Are you here to book a room? Um, I'm gonna ask her again, even though I know the answer. Maybe after you, sorry. All right, I have a delivery. Red Harvest uh, Reserve Whiskey for uh, Nathan Avadia from his daughter. Oh, how nice. His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Indeed. Mr. Avadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. I appreciate it. Third floor. There he is. I don't want to talk to him yet. Well, let's That's make this quick. Hold on, I'm snooping. Not much going on here. What's this? It's a bowl. A bowl or a bowl, if you know what I mean. Wine decanter. I guess he's ready for the booze. All right. Red Harvest Reserve, huh? I assume this is from my daughter. Well, she knows how to get my attention. So what then? You're working with her? She thinks this will be enough to... Smooth things over between us? Two totally different accents, dude. I can attack him. I'm just a simple delivery person here to ruin your life like your own Rivka's. Whatever, look. I just came here to get you to leave her alone. All right, let's try to persuade him. I'm here to talk to you about Rivka. The whiskey was just to get me in the door. Of course it was. Lots of persuasions, though. I should have not been so blind. You have no idea what you're doing. You need to tell me where she is this instant. No. My own daughter assaults me in my own home. 
steals my personal spacecraft, then runs off to who knows where. Now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better? How foolish do you think I am? When you put it that way, damn. Um, this is gonna be a tough one, maybe. Give the whiskey. Please accept the red whiskey. Rivka said it would mean a lot to you. That seems an obvious one. This isn't what Belinda would want. Uh, would have wanted, is it? Alright, she gave us that hint. Belinda. Damn, critical success. Oh, <laughs> no. You're right. She would be disgusted with who I've become. I've... I've been dishonoring her memory with my actions. I suppose oh. I've overreacted. She was young and while foolish, she is still my daughter. And Rivka is all I have left of my wife. I would do her a disservice to incriminate her daughter like that. All right. Well, I take it this means you'll forgive her then. If you break your word, I'll hunt you down. Oh, you make up for how you treated her these past several years. She told you about that. She did. I'm not proud of it. I've wrestled with it ever since my wife died. But why? I have been a terrible father. It will be up to Rivka how she wants me to make amends, and I will do whatever it takes. If she wants money, she'll get it. If she wants me to go to therapy, I will. Whatever it takes. I promise. So it wasn't substance abuse? What if you just an asshole? Huh, I'm not satisfied with that. Um, I'm not gonna threaten him, no point. I take it this means you'll forgive her then. Yes. Tell her I will drop the charges immediately and call off the bounty hunters. Bounty hunters? And I suppose I will seek her out to talk. I may just need a little time to figure out how to say what I need to say. Thank you. As they say, calling off the bounty hunters is usually the first step to a family reconciliation. Usually you say, wow, that escalated, you know, quickly. But no, this is, wow, that de-escalated quickly. Hmm. Okay. Guess we'll go let her know the good news. At least she could quit being a miner now. Maybe she could live in, like, luxury again. Go to parties. <laughs> Do whatever she did. Enjoy auroras on nice sunny afternoons. Can never quite place the smell of Sidonia. The ozone and metal and and something vaguely old and ill kept. Well, they say Mars is red because it's all rust, iron oxide covering the planet. Maybe she's just smelling that. I heard that. I heard that space smells like steak. I wonder if that's true. So is she still at the bottom over here? Is she still in the mine? The miners pretty much run the whole I think I do notice a difference in my O2. That spacesuit mod might have been really amazing. Huh. So, Grace Boda. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Turn around. Talk to me. There you go. <laughs> I received an urgent message from my father. He's dropped the charges. It will still be difficult. There's a lot we need to speak about, but I think we may be able to mend our relationship, thanks to you. Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad it worked out. Are you certain he'll keep his word? Yes. It sounded sincere. I can tell. And if I'm being truthful, I secretly hoped he would come to his senses. Came to his senses very quickly, man, just by mentioning his dead wife. Alright, you'll let me know if he ever bothers you again, right? I doubt it will come to that, but yes. I now know I have a friend I can count on when I'm in trouble. It's kind of hoping that she'd become like a follower or something. Oh well. That's good to hear. I'm glad it worked out. Of course. <laughs> we will be taking things slow. There is a lot of trust to rebuild. But he acknowledged and apologized for his past behavior. That is a good first step, and I'm willing to let him back into my life. Beat by beat, as long as he proves his words and commits to change. Without your intervention, this would not have been possible. <laughs> and I can finally treat this. Thank you. I cannot repay you enough. Oh, 5,000. I'm getting close to leveling. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna have to end the video there, running out of time. But next episode, I promise we're gonna start some stuff in Aquila. Maybe start the Freestar Ranger stuff, which pretty much, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna have to switch from Andresia to Sarah because it sounds like she's involved with that. And let's see if we can get married with her too. <laughs> so thank you for coming by, guys. I really appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next episode.